just doing a little warming up here. This is trumpet warm up number two video. Uh, if you got here from having done the trumpet warm up number one, great, then you've graduated to number two. Otherwise, you should have got here either from my blog, trumpetheroes.com, in the learn to play trumpet, drop down to trumpet warm ups. There's a whole bunch of words there about it. And then got here, or maybe you got here from the warm up uh, YouTube video. And you chose number two because you know it's the right one for you. This is two pages long, looks like this. And says right on it that you're comfortable playing a G in the staff on that second line up. That's the second lowest open note on the instrument. You're comfortable there. That's all good. The low notes are happening. So it's making some assumptions. And this warm up moves you towards playing higher notes so that you can graduate to warm up number three. Enough words. Let's start playing. I can talk in the rests. We're in 4-4 four, four time, that's a whole note, whole note G. So it's open, you see the fingering there? I'm gonna stop helping you soon. I'll count to four and we play. One, two, three, four. Rest for four, three, go. And we rest. We rest at least as long as we play each line. So I can talk. But mostly so the blood can get in there, your nerves can go, oh yeah, right, I'm squeezing myself into a piece of metal. Here's line two. Includes F sharp, second valve. First note is G. One, two, three, four. Two, here's the F sharp. And you'll notice, I hope you notice, the slur in the second last bar there. So between those G's and F sharps, you tongue that first note in the bar and then the rest of them are slurred. A bunch of them. So slurring requires us to use the air to change the notes. It helps that the valve is moving for you, but there's going to be some spots here where it doesn't. Line three. Also has an E in it and a D, and please notice the little star or asterisk at D. It means one, three, and kick that slide. If you need a long explanation of that, there's one on my website. One, two, three, four. Please make sure that slide is out for the D. Okay, now we're going to go from the D one and three with the valve kicked out. Then we're gonna go to open G and back to the D. So we can just leave that slide there. But then in the second line of this exercise, we play the same two notes, but we use the wrong fingering for the G. We play it one and three and we bring that slide back in. There's a reason for that, let's do it. Two, three, four. And we're slurring, of course. Ready, go. change to two and three same thing one and change to two and one one and two if this is getting too hard stop go to first valve I 
we're serious about stopping, but if you can, keep going. Second valve. <laughs> And now we're totally out of your comfort zone. Good work. That was hard. It might have been too hard. If it is too hard, only do the parts, maybe the first uh, two or three fingerings of this exercise. Do the parts that you can do well, and then just stop. Tomorrow, the day after that, you might be able to get one more of these notes, maybe by next week. Week after that, maybe another one. And before you know it, you're going to be putting this warm up aside and you're going to be looking around for warm up number three. Stick with this, this group of notes, this warm up number two, until it's comfortable and only do the ones that are comfortable. All right, we're on uh, exercise five. We're going to go downward here. This should feel nice. One, two, three, four. Breathe. 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 And if you really want to, you could just keep going on this exercise to the two and three notes, the one and three notes, and even one, two, and three notes. You can see, if you look at the fingerings, we're just making your trumpet longer, 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 longer. Okay? Let's do exercise six, where we're doing something like this, but we're also having to come back up, and I would like you to try to slur this. So when you're going back upward, you will have to speed the air up somewhat. Six. One, two, slower, go. One, two, second valve, go. One, two, three, first valve. One, and we're going to one and two, E's and A's, go. And two and three is coming at you right now. One. And first valve, notice the asterisks. So that was out, in, out, and again with the one, two, and three. Good, yeah. So those notes there, C sharp, is one, two, and three, plus you've got to crack that slide even further than the D. And then for the low F sharp, I usually play it all the way in. So it's out, in, out. We're resting. Line seven. This one takes us up to those higher notes, like a C. If these don't work, just leave that note out or and play, play the note before it a little longer. So what is printed there looks like this. You can play. You can play. And just play along. It'll sound pretty, but different. Here we go. Line seven. Looks like we go through all the fingerings. Yep. One, two, three, four. Three, four. Rest, rest. Now we go one and two. Three, two and three. 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 Good. 
Good. Now that last one, there's a lot of this business going on, but I find that if I'm false fingering that F sharp, I need that third valve slide out anyway. Your horn might be a little different. Who knows? Number eight. Uh, looks like we're back to using real fingerings. I put these in there just because these might be new notes for you. Number eight. One, two, three, four. Now, if you read in the little box there, there's some guy's name, Vincent Chickowitz. That line that I just played, I have probably played 10,000 times. I got it on a piece of paper when I was in high school. Somebody said, here, try these. And I've been playing them ever since. There are whole books written about these, including these exercises. That is a really good exercise, and it goes up, 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 up. When you go to warm up number three, to warm up number four, warm up number five, and eventually when you go out and buy the Chickowitz book, you'll get familiar with those. Here's number nine. It's a variation. Two, three, four. <laughs> to rest. Rest as long as you play. Remember that from line one? Yeah, it's still happening. Two, line ten. And if that C doesn't want to come out up there, play the G that has the same fingering that's already in your range. The idea is to play this line and not let it flow like that. It's not about getting high notes. Here we go, number 11. Two, three, Now, if you have to play that faster to play it in one breath, do it. Take a really big breath, take a healthy breath. But if you need to speed it up a little, speed it up. It would be good to do it in one breath. Let's do this next one. Might be an extra note in here down at the bottom. Two, three, Okay, there's warm up number two. Play this warm up every day, every time you play. Play it until it gets so easy and so boring that you really have to go to warm up number three. Warm up number three is going to assume that you have that C well in hand and it's going to take you from there up. Good luck. Now, I think I was stretching when you came in. 